Today, the state's new seatbelt law. You know, it's something that Rhode Island drivers really need to know about, especially this holiday weekend, because state police are going to be keeping a real close eye out on the roadways. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan is live now in East Providence with those new details. Good morning, Danielle and Patrick. These roadways are just starting to pick up this morning, but in a few hours, they'll be very busy, and so will police officers enforcing that new law known as the primary seatbelt law. Governor Lincoln Chafee signed it late last night after failed attempts to do so in the past. Now, under the old law, an adult could only be pulled over if a child in their vehicle was not buckled up. A, uh, an adult could only receive a ticket if they were pulled over for another violation. Well, that's no longer the case. Police can now pull a driver over for not complying Applying with seatbelt law, the penalty, $75. Rhode Island now joins 30 other states that have already enacted a primary seatbelt law. We spoke with folks this morning and we received mixed reaction. If uh, people want to wear seatbelts, they can. It's optional, you know what I mean? So if, if uh, you know, a lot of times it, it is uncomfortable to wear it. You know? I think it makes sense because, you know, a lot of people don't wear seatbelts and seatbelts can help, help people, you know. Keep them safe, save lives, especially in accidents. Simple thing, you know what I mean? All you have to do is just put your seatbelt on. An interesting note, the signage of that law, there was a July 1st deadline for the state to receive $4 million in federal highway funds, so they will receive that money. Part of that will go toward seatbelt education. We are live in East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.